Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is a video about a drama that's been going on for months actually. And I really quite frankly had no in in interest in this drama at all because it's really just a bunch of commentary locales and a ballroom brawl making hour long videos on each other. And my ADHD brain does not like videos that are longer than 25 minutes so I was planning to stay out of it. Until I found out from Master Soiku, I believe that's his name, how to say it. He posted a screenshot in the group chat, the one that could probably get all of us in jail. But yeah, he posted he posted a screenshot there and Carmen Ryder got a DMCA strike from Septi Paws. Now Septi Paws is just the stupidest person I've ever seen when it comes to filing DMCA claims. Number one, he literally put his own his YouTube name instead of his IRL name, which is illegal. It's perjury. And he also did the strike for a song, a very public song that was made by somebody else, which is not only illegal, but also flies in the face of YouTube's terms and service. So yeah, without further ado. Let's get into this video. Gang on go, we gon' stomp you if no guns allowed. She ain't for me when I was broke, what she doing now? You ain't never seen no bank account with two commas, wow. Million dollars in my face got me laughing high. Not for this video, at least. I'm not gonna put a lot of effort into it because... I have much bigger one that I need to work on and I want to release that by today as well. So yeah, he made a thread on Twitter where he justifies his copyright abuse, multiple felonies, by the fact that Nekakoda, who's the subject of the video that was struck, attempted suicide. Now I very obviously think that it was wrong for Kamen Rider to do what she did, especially with like, God, God, God. This shit is hard to explain. So this is why I want to stay out of the drama to begin with. Carmen Rider in the thumbnail of the video that was removed. And by the way, Sebi Pot said he attracted the claim. So, Nikakoda has been sexually assaulted before. And Carmen Ryder <sighs> drew a picture of Nikakoda getting raped in the thumbnail. I mean, this is just. This, this is why I want to stay with the drama, like I said before. It's just a bunch of people, dumb people, stupid people, commentary locales, getting into a brawl of how stupid they could be. But yeah, like I was trying to say before, it doesn't justify Septi Paws abusing the copyright system. We play stupid fucking mind games with people. But yeah, without further ado, let's read the thread. I have arrived to my partner, and yeah, I saw Carmen's video. I would dress later to tweet longer, but TLDR, I felt more than justified after the things she's done. It wasn't damage her channel, but a show I'm serious about her last and close relationship. Now, first off, I hate bringing down other people's content for no good reason, except for when they do things like deplatform people or abuse DMCA. Like that I just said before, those are the only two times when I said poor, taking somebody down. But yeah, you're playing mind games with the legal system. You committed a felony, you committed perjury and forging signatures. When you could have went about this a different way, that thumbnail probably qualifies for getting the video reported down without abusing the DMCA system. So I don't get what's the rationale for trying to play scare tactics with Carmen Rider like this. Because I mean, you have to understand, you have to be ready to fight legal battles when you do stupid stuff like this. Carmen Rider could have either sued the hell out of you, sued you to bankruptcy, or she could have sued you and got you arrested for two felonies. Oh yeah, the reason why I say two felonies and forging signatures is because, I know you saw it on the thumbnail a little bit, but in the claim, I'm gonna put a screenshot on screen, Sebi puts his YouTube name instead of his real life name, which is forging signatures and it's perjury. You're supposed to put your real name when you do it. Like for example, I got a strike from Quam TV that I'm gonna put on the screen. But yeah, you see, when you file a DMCA claim, you have to put your full name. But yeah, let's go on to the other tweet. I was going to retract the claim before the one week is up, which is why I made, made it a request. I'm not silencing her. I will respond and debunk all of her lies. Ellie did what I did because she kicked my friend when she was down, suicidal again. I do what I can to protect my friends. This is retarded. If your main goal was to protect your friends, you would actually report it properly for sexual content and try to get it down. Which is still be silencing people, so that's why I'm calling you out in the first place because you're abusing DMCA to silence people. Now, this has my, been my stance for a very long time. Anybody who silences other people should be silenced themselves. If you abuse the DMCA system, you should be deplatformed. And then he just makes another tweet where he basically just says that he's not sorry for what he did and that he's proud that he did it basically. So yeah, at the end of the day, Septi Paws is a piece of shit for abusing the DMCA system. He did it in the stupidest way possible. And it turns out really his only skill is drawing NSFW on his burner account. Be a thief watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and bye. I've been waiting all my life, baby, come through. It's okay to waste my time if it's on you. Don't know why, losing sleep at night. I don't feel alright, losing sight. Thinking about my life, I don't think it's right.